This video is designed to help patients in Saskatchewan learn about the important things they need to know before and after a total joint replacement. The video lessons and steps outlined by the Saskatchewan Hip and Knee Pathway are designed to help patients through the process of the surgery and onto a healthy recovery. In this module, you will get an overview of total knee replacement surgery. The ideal candidate, whether it be hip surgery or knee surgery, for joint replacement is the patient who has really exhausted other measures of, uh, of therapy. It might be anti-inflammatory medications, it might be physiotherapy, it might be injection therapy, it might be uh, braces or walking aids, it might be weight reduction, it might be patient education. They've been through the full gamut and uh, they have no further recourse other than to look at a joint replacement. Once all the conservative options are exhausted, if a patient isn't responding to knee injections or physiotherapy or other treatment modalities that we try to optimize in the pathway, then a patient might be ready for a knee replacement. Hopefully we can defer that as long as possible and once a patient comes to us and tells us that they're no longer functioning the way that they want to or the pain is too severe, then we look at providing them surgical alternatives. At that stage, we try to do some education with patients about what they can expect from the surgery, what the outcome might be afterwards, and also a little bit about what the surgery involves and how long they might be in hospital for. What happens with a total knee replacement is that we sometimes replace the undersurface of the patella with a plastic implant. Uh, we replace the end of the femur with a metal runner which is known as the femoral component, and the tibia is also replaced with a tray. Between the two is a piece of plastic which allows the knee to articulate. And then the kneecap basically articulates with the end of the femoral component, which is the metal component on the end of the femur. We've taken the kneecap off this one, so it's not there, but the kneecap would sit here, and the plastic would run in the groove on the end of the femur. So when you moved your leg up and down like this in flexion extension, you'd see the kneecap actually track in the end of the femoral groove. The longevity of the total knee replacement has gotten much better with time and that's due to better engineering and better components. 